first story is a story about police brutality. Um, Gabriella Calhoun was an extraordinary high school student. Um, at the age of 17, she had already graduated um, high school a year early. It was in her first year of college. She came home to hang out with friends for the summer, as we all do back in college. Um, and they decided to go out and have a good time, as all friends do. And after having a good time, they decided to have a late night meal at the local Denny's. And this is where this story goes from happy-go-lucky, young, extraordinary African-American girl to police brutalized and missing teeth. Now pay attention to this. While at the Denny's, there were two young ladies fighting outside, not related to Gabrielle or her friend of seven, her, her, her 17 friends slash cohorts, whatever you want to call them. Um, and the fight, you know, persisted a couple times. And, you know, long story short, the police came in to break up the fight. The police came into the Denny's and asked them about the incident. And they said, we really don't know anything about this. We're sorry. It wasn't us. Um, and then after the police broke up the fight, they then came back in to the Denny's to, you know, harass this group of friends, which is where the story gets interesting. At this point in time, one of the individuals, a gentleman in the group, African-American gentleman, decided to say to the police, hey, listen, leave us alone. We're just trying to have our meal at Denny's in Bloomington, Illinois, in Bloomington, Illinois and we don't understand why you're bothering us. Um, and that's when the story turned from bad to worse. You see, the police officers then removed said friend. And as they removed said friend, Gabrielle went to save her friend um, and to her dismay, she was brutalized by a police officer. This police officer slammed her across the ground, slammed her on the floor, and gave her a concussion. Um, and she indicates that when she woke up um, from that, you know, woke up from her concussion, she realized she was missing two teeth. She asked him why she's being arrested. Long story short, she ended up spending a couple nights in jail, but she is suing the police department. For, uh, for what we would call police brutality. She is being charged with resisting arrest um, and assaulting a police officer for trying to help her friend. Either way, America, this is clearly a story of racial profiling and police brutality. And as we, as we come to a close in the Trayvon Martin death and the end of the George Zimmerman trial, we really should have a conversation in this country about how we deal with racial profiling. When is enough going to be enough? We continue to see racial profiling happen in New York because of the Mayor Bloomberg stop and frisk laws. We continue to see racial profiling happening all across the country. And the question is, when is enough enough and when is it just okay for you to be a black little girl or a black little boy living your little life? America, we, need, we, we should demand better from our civil service. And I think police should be the example um, and not the ones responsible for the profiling or engaging in the brutality. Police are there to create peace. Hey, Fowler Nation, the best thing you can do to support this channel is by clicking that subscribe button. And I got a secret for you. If we get to 1,500 subscribers, we will drop a special behind the scenes video just for you, Fowler Nation. That's how much I love you. <laughs>